It's a real game changer. This law is going to lower costs. It will save lives for people who forego drugs because they can't afford them. And I'll give folks a little more, just my dad just said, a little more breathing room. Just a little more breathing room. That's what Bidenomics is all about. Just a little more breathing room. That's what Bidenomics is all about. Oh, really? Ask Americans in our latest poll, how would you rate the economic conditions of the country right now? 71% say poor. So how do you explain that? Well, look, the American people have been through a lot. No shit. And now a brief summary of America under Bidenomics. And you ain't black. Major news. After days on a razor's edge, Ukraine is now a nation at war. President Vladimir Putin warning other countries that any attempt to interfere with the Russian action will lead to, quote, consequences they have never seen. Now to the shortage of baby formula that has parents scrambling. It's now 43 percent out of stock nationwide, up from 31 percent last month. Now to some uh, news that nobody wants to hear right now. For the first time ever, the nationwide average price for a gallon of gas is five dollars a gallon, a full dollar ninety three more than this time last year. It's no accident. We begin tonight with the Middle East in flames. Israel has formally declared war after that unprecedented multi-pronged terror attack from Hamas, shocking the nation, catching its intelligence service by surprise. The death toll is mounting and at least 100 taken hostage. Several Americans are now confirmed to be among the dead. We're going to start with some tough times for your wallet, as you all know. Inflation now reaching its highest rate in 40 years at 9.1 percent. Uh, Mr. Costello, how bad is it? It's bad. Help is on the way. Thank you for everything, Joe Biden. Where are you from? From China. From China? Yes. Yes, Senegalese. Senegal? Senegal. Africa, Africa, Africa. Guinea, Guinea. Guinea, Conakry. The numbers are jaw dropping. CBP sources telling us in the last two days there have been more than 22,000 migrant encounters at our southern border. Peace. No ball. Well, I'm not done yet. From Afghanistan, where a 13th U.S. service member has now died following a suicide bombing attack at the airport in Kabul. The 13 American service members killed, another 18 were injured. But we're going to continue to keep our commitment, but I do not regret my decision. I went from happy to angry. Skip said, now I feel like kicking his ass. Well, the Pentagon is tracking a suspected Chinese spy balloon that's been flying at high altitude for a couple of days over the U.S. The Chinese spy balloon that traveled across the country for several days was able to gather intelligence passing over sensitive American military sites. Now we know why. Because Joe Biden is corrupt and he's incompetent and he's totally compromised. I can't believe you figured it out. <laughs> oh, God. And when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for. But look at what I've inherited and what I've done. 